What's up guys, Leopold the Brave here, and welcome to Universe's Mini. It's been a while, but I figured I'd do a couple of these in between the seasonal breaks. And this one is about the importance of cartoon characters in versus debates, because Death Battle just used Samurai Jack, and I just used the Cartoon Network Teen Titans animated series incarnation of Raven. Not only that, but Ben Singer, the creator of Death Battle, tweeted a month or so ago asking what kind of cartoon characters you'd like to see in Death Battle. He had Danny Phantom, Ben 10... A couple others who I can't remember at the time, but yeah, it got me really excited that cartoons are getting more attention in the versus debating community. And you know, it's always been kind of super odd to me until I really thought about it. Typically, versus debating is full of comic books, video games, and anime, and cartoons seem to be strangely left out unless they're cartoons heavily inspired by anime like Avatar The Last Airbender or, of course, Teen Titans. There could be several reasons for this, but there are two really big ones I came up with. One is that people are just too lazy. Unlike anime, comic books, or video games, cartoon characters don't have very many respect threads showing off what they can do, so the researcher can't lazily steal or copy or paste from those respect threads. They'd actually have to research themselves! But anyways, the second and biggest reason people tend to stay away from cartoon characters is because of Toon Force. For those who don't know, Toon Force is basically the small level reality warping squash and stretch physics of the classic cartoons like Looney Tunes or Mickey Mouse, and people tend to generalize that with all American cartoons. But believe it or not, this isn't really a common thing anymore. Granted, there are still a couple modern cartoons like Spongebob or The Amazing World of Gumball that have lots of fourth wall breaking and Toon Force. But really look back, guys, at all the cartoons of not just the past decade, but the past couple decades. You've got Adventure Time, Regular Show, Steven Universe, OKKO, OK then of course you got the Samurai Jack, Teen Titans, Avatar The Last Airbender, even Codename Kids Next Door. Total Drama, Danny Phantom, Powerpuff Girls, and this isn't even counting all the animated movies, like the Disney animated movies, the DreamWorks, Pixar, whatever you want to go with. They're all pretty consistent and well-grounded too. Lilo and Stitch, How to Train Your Dragon, Kung Fu Panda, there's so much to choose from. That isn't even all of them either, there's still stuff like Invader Zim or My Life as a Teenage Robot, I could just keep going on. So don't try to use the excuse that that's still a small list in comparison to anime and comic books, because it isn't. It's huge. All of those things that I just listed have very little to no Toon Force in them at all, and their verse is barely affected by any of it if it does show up. So yeah, definitely try to use more cartoon characters in verses. And don't be lazy if there's no respect threads, just watch a dang cartoon, jeez. Have fun, people. That does make me curious, though. Where did all the bias come from? Because anime is quite full of Toon Force, too. Or as versus debaters commonly label it as gag feats. How is Popeye the human sailor man who gets stronger from eating spinach and punching a man into orbit from it any different than Saitama the caped baldy who can beat everything with one punch, managing to obliterate a mountain by punching the air? The only difference is that one's a cartoon and one's anime. They're both showing off their full potential of power. So why does Saitama get his feet but Popeye is just Toon Force that isn't applicable in verses? And let's just take Aureli, or Aurali, however you weeb say her name, from Dragon Ball, her Dragon Ball incarnation specifically. She has all kinds of crazy Toon Force feats and knocks around the main characters as if they're nothing. So I guess Dragon Ball isn't viable in Versus because it has Toon Force in it, am I right? Oh no wait, it's just a gag character and it doesn't matter to everything else. So hopefully I got my point across. Not every single last cartoon uses Toon Force. There's so many of them that don't. More than enough to equal the anime and comic book library. And for the ones that do have Toon Force, so what? Just let them be that powerful. Let them fight an equally powerful opponent. The only difference is that one did it comedically while the other seriously. Just don't be scared to use cartoons. I'm tired of being the only one. We need some variety. But with all that said, I'm very glad cartoons are starting to show up more in verses, and I'd like to recommend a video. Go check out Just a Robot's The Powerpuff Girls Are Stronger Than You Think. It's honestly a pretty good example of all that I've talked about today. So see you guys later. Leopold the Brave, out.